It has been 75 years since the landmark invasion of World War II, known as D-Day. And here in Central Florida, there's a special event marking the occasion. News 6's Mark Lehman was there at the Valiant Air Command Warbird Museum in Titusville. He tells us how visitors had the chance to talk to veterans and see a plane that was part of the mission that day. Those here with the Warbird Museum say their hearts and minds are in France today, but they are also honored to have a piece of history right here in Central Florida. We're talking about the Tycho Bell, and everyone here today is remembering the flight that she took 75 years ago today. The propellers sounding much as they did three quarters of a century ago. This is certainly an instrument for the defense of freedom. And this instrument is taking flight once again to honor those who served and commemorate her role on D-Day. She flew two missions on the 6th of June, uh, delivering paratroopers, and a third one towing a glider. The Warbird Museum in Titusville showing off the Tycho Bell on Thursday. It's one of the 13,000 aircraft that flew over the skies of northern France as troops stormed the beaches below. Today's flight bringing up memories for World War II veterans. I flew two missions, got shot down both times. Joseph Roos was a prisoner of war when his camp got word of the D-Day invasion. The camp was overjoyed because we figured the war is going to end now. Our people will overrun them. And history showed it was a turning point in the war, something made possible through the courage and sacrifice of Allied soldiers, some of whom also flew in this airplane. Her job is to be here and evoke those wonderful memories of uh, her courage and her, her crew's courage uh, in World War II. In Titusville, Mark Lehman getting results, New 6. Awesome day for mm -hmm. Mark. We remember those guys and thank them for their service.